Do you know how much data others have about you that you don't have yourself? You probably don't even know what data others have about you. Every day when you go shopping, when you take public transportation, shop online, read an ebook, watch a movie online, or do a web search, lots and lots of data are collected and stored about you. Every interaction that you have with every institution in life leaves a breadcrumb in your history. And all those breadcrumbs are recorded and remembered by some institution. And all of that data, all those breadcrumbs, are essentially your inversely private data. The inverse privacy problem is the inaccessibility of your inversely private information. There are many aspects to this problem. I don't know who knows things about me. I don't know what they know. I don't know what they can infer about me and so on. But the most important issue is that I personally do not benefit from the data about me. That doesn't seem fair. We actually state that individuals are entitled to the data that others have about you that today you do not have access to. And we call that the inverse privacy entitlement principle. There may be exceptions, but each such exception needs to be justified. And the burden of justification is on the data holder. You might ask, why would an individual want access to all this data? Well, first, there's simply a matter of correcting mistakes but also you could see correlations between these activities. And maybe you could share some of that information with your doctor who can then better treat you. So having access to this information that others have about you, but today you don't have access to, can help you improve your health, your wellness, and your quality of life. Large institutions are certainly incentivized to collect a lot of data about all their customers because then they can better serve their customers. And individuals, first of all, probably don't bother trying to record every minutia of their daily lives, and so they don't. And so there is naturally going to be this gross disparity. And this disparity is not because large institutions are malicious actors. It's simply due to technology advances and imbalances. So what do we do about this imbalance? We argue that these institutions that have data about you should share back this data with you. We call it the share back policy. And we believe there's also market value for the companies and large institutions to share back this data with you as well. Find out more in Inverse Privacy, a Viewpoint article in the July 2016 Communications of the ACM.